Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today I want to share with you a vanilla butter cake recipe. If you like moist and tender cake with a rich butter taste, then it's a perfect recipe for you. You can make a delicious layered cake by using these cake layers and your favorite frosting. Also, it's a great recipe for making cake pops. To make the cake butter, we will need 355 grams of flour, 355 grams of sugar, 300 grams of softened butter, 5 eggs, 105 grams of sour cream, 105 grams of whole milk, 3 fourths of a teaspoon of salt, 1 fourth of a teaspoon of baking soda, 1 and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and 1 tablespoon of vanilla extract. I want to remind you that all the ingredients need to be at room temperature, so get them out of the fridge in advance and let them warm up. Start by sifting the dry ingredients. Add the flour, sugar, baking powder, baking soda and salt to a large sifter and sift it to a bowl. Whisk the dry ingredients together and set aside. Use another bowl for the wet ingredients. Add the eggs, softened butter, sour cream, milk and vanilla extract. Whisk together and don't worry if you can still see small butter clumps. You can use a whisk or a hand mixer to whisk all the wet ingredients. In two batches add the dry ingredients to the wet and mix until combined. Now let's prepare the baking ring. With a piece of aluminum foil, cover one side of the baking ring. I'm using two 8-inch baking rings. If you don't have baking rings, you can butter and flour 8-inch baking pans. Divide the butter evenly into the cake pans. I always use a kitchen scale to measure for even layers. Spread the butter with a spatula and bake at 350 degrees for 30 to 35 minutes or until the toothpick comes out dry. Let the cake cool in the baking ring for about 5 minutes or so, then free the ring from the aluminum foil and with a sharp knife slice between the cake and the baking ring. Take the ring off, invert the cake onto a cooling rack and carefully take off the foil from the bottom. If you use a baking pan, let the cakes cool in the pans for about 5 minutes or so, then invert each cake onto a, a cooling rack and let it cool for another 10 minutes. When the cakes are cooled down a little, cover them in plastic wrap and refrigerate for 4-6 to six hours. This will help the moisture spread evenly inside the cake and make it easier to slice each cake into two if you want to turn them into a large layered cake with frosting. I want to show you how the cake looks inside. Very moist and beautiful with a delicious smell of vanilla. You can use your favorite frosting to build the cake or make cake pops. I really hope my video is useful to you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll make sure to get back to you. If you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.